Well, I gotta say, there is one way that Swoosh is bringing somebody in with the collab. It's Swooshy! Hmm. Interesting look at the design of the character. But especially... There it is. He's back. Right here to roll. Oh, what's up, folks? It's Son of Beasts, and this is the next... Funny story that I'm about to talk to you about, those crazy parents. This is calling what their crazy parents would look like. But I'm in between Smoozy and Swoosh. Yes, these are our next collabs, and I've, I've really, really been happy enough to see this collab here because I haven't really seen it. Because last time, they done it with the other one, as Brody Animates already have done the other videos, with the school stories. And now, here's the thing about this, because now, you basically get the point of it, and you really now have a choice to make it clearable. Let's see what Swoosh has, starting now. Guys, we have the collab that you've been waiting for. This is forever. it. This is it. Yes, this is it, and Swoosh and Swoozy are in a collab together. Swoosh and Swoozy. I feel like you've probably already said the story on how you got your name, but for anybody that missed it, can you do like a 10 second run back? I had the Bieber fro going on when I was like 13. <laughs> That's and it. Like... That's... <laughs> oh damn, I, I don't like Bieber. I, I, you know what? I've always been liking Bieber so much, but now people are really thinking like, He's very so different, but back in his teenager year, he's definitely like complete different tone before being grown up. And I felt like, oh, so that must have been different anyway. I couldn't even tell. Well, now you get the fact, get right to this point. I don't know, I understand. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that was, that was it. So guys, today, me and Adande, we're talking about parent stories. Let's talk about it. Like, I thought you were gonna say crazy parents that being harassing on you. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Have you ever like really sat and thought about parenting though? Like I think as much as your parents have ever annoyed you or as much as your parents will annoy you, imagine what you would have to sacrifice if you found out you were pregnant right now. That's what your yeah. parents did it for you. And that's heavy, dude. Right. Well, I gotta say right now, my mom is definitely uh, pregnant. Before I was born, before I was born, she was realizing that, that something was gonna happen and gonna get a baby. And they definitely realized that, that looks like that they're gonna have a born baby. And I felt like, you know, that's what we all have to experience on with someone who was related to and with some of our parents who were complaining about, explaining about, you know, all those parents and some uncles and some aunts, and you know, that's a lot of people that you got to recognize it. But actually now, they've got to do is keep the secret in. You may never know if it's a boy or a girl. Think of it carefully. Well, I actually am pregnant, so. <laughs> so no, no. No, you're not. Okay, you're, are you think you're kidding right now? I think you are. <laughs> Here's the thing with my mom. I don't know if this is like specific to my mom or mm -hmm. like it's everyone's mom, but sometimes it straight up feels like my mom's getting like paid by the hour to like embarrass me. I don't know who's paying her, but like for real, like it feels like that. It, it definitely has picked up since like getting older and still doing YouTube. Basically, I broke my hand a couple years ago. I actually broke the same hand again recently. The first time I broke my hand, my mom told the nurse that I was a YouTuber while they're wrapping my cast up. <laughs> this time, I'm in the doctor's office. I'm like, mom, do not talk do about it. YouTube. I, I'm in a bad it. mood. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, about my, three doctors. oh my God. I, I actually remember that one here. I know he was talking about the YouTube about his injuries. So he, he basically was talking about it. And, and she was asking to the nurse, like, he's a famous YouTuber. And I felt like, no, no, no. Oh my God. You may remember this from my last video that I have done with the injuries from the famous swoosh of Nathan. Sometimes it happens with the finger. I mean, it was too much for him. He said, I'm fine. Yeah, I know you're not fine. But, you know, broke your hand. Yeah, you remember, remember this one here last time. But I'll have to get right into the other side there soon. Got to think of it ahead. There's visits and then she finally brought it up. Uh, <laughs> All my... <laughs> oh, boy. Kaboom! embarrassing moments usually come from my dad sometimes with the mom like she does the same thing like we'll be out and she's like did you know he has millions of followers I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh 
Oh my, oh my gosh. I mean, if I would have to know that, if, if somebody would notice here, do you guys remember him on YouTuber? He's a famous YouTube to make some good content. And I felt like, you know what? I basically remembered it. I think uh, Michael has done that one here before. Mike from Big Frills Mike, and he definitely does a lot of amusement parks, soda reviews, and basically some ever lodge videos that he has done. And I would have basically just go ask them and feel like, do you guys know Big Frills Mike? And basically they would say is like, yeah, I've got a good feeling we're in between of it. Or maybe some of you may ask that, is he gonna make more videos? Well, basically he's on college right now, so I basically would have to Keep an eye on him just in case if he's doing it too much or not. But I'm just making it okay for him. Just just for real. No, not right now. Not right now, please. It's been 20 years, Mom. Get over it. Right, right. My dad. <laughs> Mom, Dad, please don't talk about this on here. I need to get moving. Dad is so zero to 100 that he creates YouTube stories. I got a new engine for my car. Let's go racing around the neighborhood. And I'm like, dude, no. He's like, I'm your dad. You do what I say. Let's go, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not really, and he said, okay. No. No, please don't do that. Have you ever like snuck out of the house? I've never snuck out of the house. I mean, really? let's talk about like Taco Bell in my early 20s. I'm a little innocent baby boy, bro. Oh my God, Taco Bell. Somebody get an explosive diarrhea out of the butt. No, we're gonna get the sauce out of here. Uh, like, we're, we're gonna spill <laughs> a little tea. Well, then what <laughs> oh my God, it's Copper's face as revealed. <laughs> Oh no, man. <laughs> All that face. Jeez. What's the worst trouble you've ever been in? This is how boring and innocent my life was. I'm, right, it's crazy that I'm a story time YouTuber. <laughs> my parents were like super supportive of me. They always have been super supportive. Really? Of me. I was the opposite. Really? My parents are even like, kid, they just want to watch their show. That's all. Dude, I was really the go on. We'll hear yours first. One time I handed in a thing late for like English class in eighth grade, and the teacher was like, Nathan, why did you hand us in so late? And I'm like, Um, I was too busy making a YouTube video. Uh, okay, quit it with the YouTube video and then go right to school, okay? Do YouTube later after that. Thank you. Bye bye. And like, I don't know why I said that because I wanted to sound cool, I think. To my hey, oh, um, I think most people are definitely complaining about you. You don't know that eighth grade English teacher oh and God. she ended up telling my mom and my mom was like you need to take school more seriously and stop animating and I was like oh, oh. and oh, I was wow. only doing YouTube for like a month I just <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 I mean I have to stop doing YouTube because I all that college stuff oh boy it's gonna be a worst part of my day so I don't have time to make things to animate things in the afternoon during weekdays but all I know is that Every evening, if I don't have school to go to college because I have holidays or anything, I mean, that would be completely different. I have to note that one. It's definitely for real. And for some people who are Jewish, I mean, they would have to miss that class. I mean, sorry, gotta celebrate something different. I just wanted to sound cool that I was like some big hotshot YouTuber with my, you know, 50 subscribers. And look at you now. I know. So look at me now, English teacher. Hitting a- <laughs> Yeah, you're looking at me now? Yeah, I'm looking at you now, okay? A million subscribers is definitely going to like boost up my mom's bragging rights. Like she tells oh, everybody. Oh, sure. Oh my. I, I, I think my parents are going to beg me because uh, if I make it to a thousand subscribers, then they're gonna say, oh my gosh, son, what if you did? This YouTube is so amazing. And I feel like, wow, son, can I be in a YouTube video? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but hey, let's look this way. Give it all what you got. And my mom was gonna say, oh my goodness, there's son, congratulations for making a thousand subscribers. You're gonna start monetizing, you're gonna do the best. Don't make anything bad contents, okay? Bye. <laughs> oh well, I, I basically try to do well as I can, so I can't, I can't agree with that. Gotta go alone there, dude. My son has a million subscribers on YouTube. What does your son do? Accounting? Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Too much with that. <laughs> 
Where did you go wrong? <laughs> so my mom supported all my YouTube stuff and my dad was dream crushing all of it. So it was any time that he would hear me talking about my dreams, right. specifically the Disney employee one. So watch this, I post it and I'm like, dad, everybody's talking about it. like Variety did something about it and this news article and this news article. And he's like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. How much money did you make off of it? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, like only like $200 so far. <laughs> My parents didn't even say about that. How much money did I make? I didn't make it. <laughs> but and they, he didn't care. Like at Dang, that point, bro. I was like, all right, I have to do the big swings. On a random day, the Nintendo Wii came out. I want. Oh, I knew the Wii. I wanted one badly, but they were sold out everywhere, dude. Really? Oh, dang. I mean, I didn't notice. I mean, I didn't notice that you were going to get the Wii and they, they felt like, wow, everybody sold out. Well, back in the years now, everybody was buying a Wii and they felt like they loved it. They loved playing the Wii. But now they love Switch more because it has a better quality background and a better new gaming device. I mean, now the Wii is coming to be very old and collector's item. For those of you who wants to keep the Wiis... I mean, it's your choice. Just keep it. But some of you already asked that, nah, I'm tired with the original Wii. I want to go to Wii U. So it's basically me. I, I definitely really wanted to play on Wii U just for a better system to have a better screen quality. I mean, that might be a better take. And, you know, better screen to have than blurry stuff with all that fadeness and, I mean, blurriness. I mean, oh, God. I mean, change it up, would you? My boy calls me at 2 o'clock in the morning and he goes, Swoos, they have one in the Claremont Walmart. Go now! I jumped in my Geo Prism and I sideways skirted <laughs> Burnout Paradise all the way down there, right? Oh my god, did you have to just do that to just race it to the Best Buy to Walmart? Get the Wii and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning now. Get in my car and the car won't start. It breaks down. Oh my- Oh no! Uh-oh, Swoozy. Uh-oh. Well, I think your parents are going to say that. Dude, what is wrong with you? Why do you always get up at 3 o'clock in the a.m. in that morning? And I mean, <laughs> that is not what I was supposed to happen like that. I was expecting that, that stores don't even open up until early morning. Like, some stores, they open up at 9 a.m., but all the rest of the stores, they open up at 10 a.m., while some of them open up at 11 a.m. on the weekdays. But mostly on Sunday, all the stores open up at 11 a.m. Not joking, because that point, it's because of how the day gets busy on the weekdays. Saturday and Sunday. That's right. That's what I just said. It gets pretty crazy. But I have a bad feeling with that car, and this is what happens. I mean... No trouble in mine, but the oil just came out and I felt so frustrated with my first car of BMW. But now my second car, I'm hoping there shouldn't be any leaks. Wish me luck. My gosh. Yeah. And this is my what? dad's car that he loans to Oh, his. no. Yeah. Oh, no. So I call him at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, Dad, mm -hmm. I'm at Walmart. Your car broke down on me. And he was like, oh, fine. I'll come get you. Because it's technically his fault. Uh, I keep telling yeah. him to stop buying me crappy cars. 4 a.m. rolls around. I still what? don't see him. So I call him back. I'm like, bro, where are you at, man? I'm trying to get home and play Mario. I'm here. Where are you? I'm like, I'm literally right at the front. He's like, well, I'm by the tree. And I go, oh, my God, Dad. What Walmart did you go to? And there's oh, a long pause. No. Uh, oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, um, I'll tell you what, we just finished playing golf, but um, but I think he went to the wrong Walmart location. I mean, what is he thinking? Well, for me and my uncle, we just finished playing golf at Bel Air Course. And then what we were expecting right now is like, dude, should we pick up at lunch at, at Chick-fil-A? And I said, yeah, sure, which one's the closest one? And I felt like I found one here right closer to my house. But I felt like I was about to follow him, but I was getting my navigation on because I wasn't really ready yet. I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, I don't know what I've done. I mean, I'm a bumbling idiot. No, not seriously. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to fix that one up. So don't, don't try to question me of why did I get my wrong location? But that's what always happens to me all the time. So we got the one at Chick-fil-A. It's a different location right by the Dollar Tree. But the, my uncle went to the other one right across from the diner. 
And it was right by the Wawa gas station. And that was the one that I was basically doing this thing. It's like, oh, crap. And I felt like, you know what? Let's call it a day for now. I mean, thank you so much. And <laughs> good thing that my uncle didn't really like Chick-fil-A. It's bad carbs or anything. But, um, but yeah, I know. It, it wasn't very easy enough. So I almost went like a scatterbrain for some reason. Well, my mom was going to say, like, which Chick-fil-A did you go to? Um... The one right by Dollar Tree. I felt like, dude, that is far away. Go to a closer one there next time, bro. I mean, I'm not bro. I mean, son. Whatever. <laughs> Make it a dub. But now you get it. Because that's why he went to the wrong Walmart location of the store. So he's got to come right by that car where Swoozy was jumping out. I mean, come on, man. You got to fix it for yourself. And he's like... I'm at the Okoe one. The Claremont one is right next to our house. Why would you do that? So I have to wait. <laughs> oh my God, what? Okay, I, all right. It's right next to that house. I mean, I did not know that. Well, the Chick-fil-A one is right by me and the one right by the towns, by the towns of Oldbridge. And basically it's right at the grocery store right above it and right by the supermarket food store. And that was the section that I get Chick-fil-A every time I get close to it when I get home. But basically, I just went up to another location of Chick-fil-A. That was the one in Hazlitt. Well, I'm not going to give you what the town is, so I'm only just going to do one. All right? Just one location. That's it. But um, I just don't want to give you any information with that. Please don't stalk on me. <laughs> another 45 minutes for him to show up. So the next day, guess what I did? What? I went to the Mercedes dealership and bought a car cash. What? You, what? At, at that point, then he started looking at YouTube differently. Did what? Did you know something my parents never approved of? Bad browsers. Oh, is it Opera again? Which is why I use the best browser, Opera. Opera. Of course you are going to say that. <laughs> Okay, uh, forget it right now. I mean, I'll come back later. See you later until this one is over. Silly brain. Keep me popping and checking, God. I gotta represent. Lord, I gotta represent. Instead of dropping to the level, I keep copping all the checks. Stay on top of all the rest. They ain't hot like even Ness. I can't sweat it with these haters because they know that I'm the best. I ain't stopping for a step. Lord, I gotta represent. Instead of dropping to the level, I keep now we're back into this. I have only seen my dad hurl one time in my life. Throw up, you mean? Oh yeah. I have the vaguest memory of being a young baby boy. All I remember is Oi. being in the van with me, my brother, my mom, and my dad. And I just remember him being like, oh, my stomach really hurts. Like, I just need to eat food and I'll feel better. I remember we go to McDonald's and he gets these two like egg, like burrito things or whatever. We're driving away. Wait, burritos do exist at McDonald's? What? way and he like crushes those things starts drinking water you know oh. not even a full minute goes by he grabs mcdonald's bag puts it out the window and just goes oh. and then... <laughs> dude i'm gonna puke i'm gonna puke all over right now <laughs> oh sh what are you gonna do with that? And I will never forget Ooh. the sound because it sounds like he was like just screaming into the McDonald's bag. And if we still laugh about it to this day, what about learning how to drive? Do you remember the, do you ever learn oh. how to drive with your parents? Oh very, my. very, very clearly. My mom gave- Oh my God. I mean, I, I basically noticed my dad is absolutely a crazy driving thing. He's being too much goofball every time when he starts doing that. And I basically said, Dad, what are you doing right now? What, what, why are you looking at me? Look on the road. He felt like, nope, I guess I wanted to goof at you. <laughs> no, that's not true. I, I don't know why my crazy parents usually do that every time. They feel like they want to pick on me for some reason. I mean, like, come on, man. You got to, like, just do it for fun. It's, it's like a family thing. Just think about that. Give me one lesson. And her main contribution was don't put both feet on the pedals. Because that's how I would yeah. race whenever I go to the arcade. You left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas. Well, definitely need to be an arcade game. I mean, that's different. But for real cars, don't put your left foot on the brake. All right?
Those things are famously accurate to real life too. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was just hard figuring out right of way. So when I pulled to a four-way stop, my brain short-circuited. I didn't know yep. what was going on. Dude. Yep. I almost got us all killed at a four-way stop. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I'm 16, fresh on the road. I mean, dude, I thought you're gonna be 18. You're 16. You're too young to drive. You don't have a driver's license, man. What the heck is your problem, bud? The pavement is now drying. That's how fresh I am. Uh, we go to a four-way stop, and we all get there at the same time. My dad goes, I dare you to just gun it right now. What? Oh, no! <laughs> no, don't do this! Before he could even put a period on now, I gunned it. Everybody thought it was their turn, so everybody decides to go. But I, like, freaking full-throttle Leroy Jenkins, oh my, and oh almost my hit God. all the other three cars. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, dude, my mom shrieked. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Shrieked louder than I've ever heard. She's like, pull this! Carver, now get out, get in the back. You're never driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely would say that. Here, sign. I'm done with you. Please get in the back of the car. You're in big trouble right now. <laughs> and my dad is gonna watch over me. He's gonna punch me very hard. Oh, please stop this. <laughs> That's it, boy. You get out of here and go in the back seat. You're in big trouble. You're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i mean yeah do not attempt to do this guys <laughs> total theatrics at that and point that was the last time you drove with your mom <laughs> that's the last time i drove ever i mean you're driving ever what if a cop see you well they're gonna give you a ticket and i don't want to do that either i should have no points with that at all no points at all Driving with my mom was a nightmare. She always- How so? Like, I'm talking like over dramatically, like scared. Like, <gasps> I'm like, mom, yeah. I'm going five miles an hour. I'm stopping Bro. at a stop sign. Dude, you, why, why are you doing this right now? I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, my parents are just going over because all those vehicles are merging into two lane highway in between. And they, this is definitely the worst thing idea. I mean, I don't know what's happening. I mean, Great. I mean, why am I doing this? I mean, well, because of most people are definitely idiotic. So yeah, they're stupid mother <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Stop it! Stop the car! Ah! Please stop their <laughs> car! If I didn't fully stop at a stop sign and wait yeah, like bro, five yes! seconds, bro, I would yes! get yelled at, bro. To this day, my mom does that. I like, yeah, you didn't come yep. to a complete stop back there. Oh and I don't gosh, even respond. Bro. I just give her- Oh yeah, I definitely did that. I, I had a mistake. Ugh. I, I definitely just didn't really mean to do this, but I definitely did one mistake. I didn't come to a full stop when we were leaving at the RWJ Barnabas Health Arena for the basketball high school game. And this is what I should have mentioned. I should have learned myself. That's why. For a look and then look back yeah. at the road. I've been driving now for three and a half years and like mm -hmm. I've had- Same. Three years, baby. Oh yeah. I had like my own car for a while now. And like my mom still is like, you're going 35 and a 30. And I go, yeah, so? That's, no one's gonna pull me over for going, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get pulled over. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get pulled over at that point. If you're doing that's bad and the cops are hanging in here, I mean, yep, you're gonna be in trouble right now. Well, I drove here, actually correct that. I've been driving here for four years. So um, don't tell me what car I got, okay? <laughs> Bro, whatever, you know. So when I got my Audi, I was like hanging out with my, That's me. my friend Frank. And I was mm -hmm. like, Frank, dude, like this car just goes so fast, so quickly. Like, dude, you know like an empty road somewhere? And he's like, dude, do I know an empty road? So we- Empty road? <laughs> Not my only you expect that, especially to my Quattro of A4. Find this empty road and he goes, dude, Gun it. So I'm going like 115 on this road at 12 at night. There's no one Dude. there. Literally like the day or day after I got my car and I was like, that was awesome. The next oh my God. No, 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 no. That is not awesome. That is dangerous. But if I feel like if there is nobody around, if I do on a private on the road, I mean, they would never spot me on. If it's clearable, clearance to get through this road. And I would have felt like we would have had a filming location here. I mean... Could say that. I mean, I don't know why, but I get clear. Next day, I'm just like, hey, mom, dad, I went over a hundred last night and they were like, <laughs> what? <laughs> they oh, yes, they did. They're going to say, what? Like that? <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's what parents usually react to. I mean, not me, because that's what they always say. Son, what did you do? You shouldn't be speeding like that. 
And I always get a reply saying, slow down! You're going too fast! Like that. But that's what I always said. And hey, who would have known a gangster beast would say, Hey, what the f*** are you doing? Slow down, man! That's what I always been thinking of. Like, okay, sorry. I mean, you guess you're right. <laughs> Make it clear on that. That's uh, so mad. I don't know why I told him. It was so stupid. Dude, my dad looked at me like I asked him if he could like help me hide a body. He was like, Nathan, don't ever do that again. I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, I'm sorry. I won't do this again, daddy, I promise. My dad still works like a machine. And I'm like, dad, you're like 63, man. Like, why are you working so much? So there'll be times where he'll like come home, relax on the couch. And I'm like talking to him about stuff. And he's like slowly blinking. And I'm like, you with me, Dad? And he's like, yo, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm listening. I'm oh, I was doing that to say. Almost dozed off. For real. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> I remember there was one time I had a Thundercats toy. And yeah. Lionel had a glove. And the kids in the neighborhood were all playing, da 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 da. All the kids go home, Lionel's glove is missing. So I go to my parents, like, Mom, Dad, I'm like, Lionel's glove is gone. I don't, I can't <laughs> live anymore. Um, <laughs> what do you have to do now? I mean, you don't just give up, just go get it. Well, the parents are gonna look at it. I mean, you gotta find it. My mom was like, take your son to Winn-Dixie or wherever and buy him another toy. So my dad was pissed because he's not like, I got to spend yeah. $5 to buy a brand new toy when he's only missing yeah, the glove. Dude. So he's mad the whole way driving. We get to the aisle. He's like, which is the stupid toy? And I point at it and I remember him saying, turn around. And I'm like, turn around. Okay, whatever. And then oh, that's what you did? And I hear him say, let's go. We get in the car and then he tosses me the glove. And he's like, here, don't ever ask me to do anything like this ever again. And I'm like, wait, this dude what? just stole from Albert. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? For real? You're picking it for real at the Albert and so store. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Why are you so grumpy? I mean, come on, go back and do this again. Just a smidge. Dude, why are you so angry? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, he's like, he's like a wild, like, more like it's like a Minotaur face. Oh my gosh, that, that is really kind of, t like, scaring the frights out of me. I mean, oh my god. I mean, <laughs> dude, chill. But I felt like, oh, dad, please chill down. You're doing it too much. And they're like, no, that's when you're going to get a lesson this, son. Like I told you, when you grow up in Trinidad and then you move to New York and you come to Orlando, you are built different. And they're still looking for that glove all these years later. I guess. I guess you would. Just like to end off this video, guys. I'd like to announce that uh, Donde is actually my adopted father now. We decided after this video is. that we would just kind of oh. set everything up. It's finally. Sorry, mom though. and dad. The, the similarities in the name. Hello, right. Smoozy, Smoosh. And his son, it wasn't Smoosh. on accident. It was not <laughs> totally hey, intentional. We've been playing for this for a long time since 02. Oh yes, I, I guess you guys could say that. I mean, well done, guys. Um, my reaction to this one point before I wrap things up. I'm going to give it a, uh, a good review because you guys did really well with the crazy parents. And this is what happens when my parents are being crazy enough. I mean, talking gibberish stuff would be before I was even going to talk. But um, I just feel like, you know what? I don't know what they're saying. So I, I felt like re relaxed again. So I felt like I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Well, my, my dad is going crazy. He felt like, uh, what? And my mom is going to be really crazy at that point. I mean... <laughs> For you guys, I mean, keep your eyes on your parents here. If if you need to fix something, just ask them, okay? All right? I just feel like I don't want to hear this one again. Just make it clear. Do it correctly. All right? Now, it's time for the official review. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 stars for the crazy parents because I just wanted to put it in my spot. Anyway, thank you guys who have been tuning into my channel for my next reaction of a famous swoosh. You guys are really cool, and you're awesome, and like swoosh does, like, he's cool. Anyway, if you would like to check out some other uh, previous animated ones of the funny stories for the infamous swoosh, I still have it in a playlist section, so you'll find out. Just wait and see. Otherwise, it's all yours when you can. And I will tell you one more thing here. 
while this uh, outro text message pops up. So with that being said, crazy parents, I mean, don't think it too much on them. And that's what I would say is that most parents are being totally aggressive in between and they were definitely doing it too much at all. Anyway, if you really liked my video, consider yourself like a thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and also keep your eyes peeled here for the next video coming soon. And for those of you who are tuning into the gaming, it's going to be underway here very soon. So that's going to be next year by the summer of 2025. And basically, I definitely did announce that. So once we get to 700 subscribers, or we'll see what happens if there is another change. In the meantime, thank you all for watching for my reaction video. And if you like it, please show us some love by hitting that comment button, subscribe to my channel, hit the icon bell so you don't miss out with new latest videos. It's the best way to support you for my channel. So hopefully my parents will keep me for the best of my channel for all the work I do. Yeah, I'm serious. But anyway, thank you all for tuning in. And so until next time, peace out. And my parents are being like their craziest people. I mean, they shouldn't be doing this anymore again, Dial. Well, that is just happens. I mean, never gonna hack up anyway. So yeah, hack my life. Nope, not happening. So don't want that. All right, I'm out. Son of Beast is gone. Take care, folks. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.